Sir George Boy, 5th Baronet, Admiral Sir George Boy, 5th and 1st Baronet, 3 May 1746, December 1800, was a Royal Navy officer and politician of the 18th century. He participated in the Seven Years' War, fighting at the Battle of Minorca, Raid on Rochefort, and Siege of Wurzburg as a junior officer. Promoted to commander in 1761, his first command, the Cutter, was captured by the French in June of the following year. Acquitted by his subsequent court-martial, Boraya was promoted to post-captain in October 1762. During the American Revolutionary War, he commanded the ship of the line and fought in the Battle of Granada and Battle of Martinique, and also played a key role in a skirmish with Admiral de Kitchen's fleet on 15 May 1780 where he drew the fire of 15 enemy ships at once. Promoted to Rear Admiral in 1793, Boraya fought at the Battle of the Glorious 1st of June on 1 June 1794 where he lost a leg. Unable to continue serving actively, he was rewarded for his service with a baronetcy and became an admiral in 1799. In the same year, he also inherited his brother's baronetcy. Boai died in December 1800. Early career George Boai was baptised at Denham, Buckinghamshire, on 3 May 1740, the third son of Sir William Boai, 3rd Baronet, and his wife Anne, the daughter of Sir John Stonehouse, 3rd Baronet. Boai joined the Royal Navy as a captain's servant on board the frigate, commanded by Captain Richard Howe, on 11 May 1751. As a follower of house, he transferred with him to the brand new post ship on 16 July 1752. In Dolphin Boa, served off the coast of West Africa, where in 1753 they investigated the martial intentions of pirates of Sally on the Leeward Island Station and in the Mediterranean fleet before transferring to the ship of the line as a midshipman on 30 October 1755. He served in Princess Lusa during the Battle of Minorca on 20 May 1756. Boa subsequently transferred to the ship of the line on 12 November and then to the ship of the line at Chemesse Royal and on 20 April 1757 in which he took part in the raid on Rochefort in September while serving in the English Channel. He passed his exam for lieutenant on 6 February 1758 and was promoted to the rank on 13 February and sent to the West Indies to serve on the ship of the line as a third lieutenant. As such he fought at the Siege of Lewisburg between 6 June and 27 July before becoming the second lieutenant of Nottingham on 25 August. On 31 January 1760, he left Nottingham to rejoin his mentor Howe on the ship of the line as her fourth lieutenant. Boraya was promoted to commander on 4 May 1761 and given as his first command the newly captured cutter, which had been the French privateer Le Comte de Valence. He patrolled off the southern coast of England until 30 June 1762, when Swift was attacked and captured by the French privateer Mani off Ushant. The French ship had been much larger than Boraya's command, and at the subsequent court martial held after the loss of any Royal Navy ship, he was acquitted, having done everything in his power for escaping the enemy before being captured. Post Captain Swift was Boraya's only command as a commander because on 28 October 1762 he was promoted to post captain. He was given command of the frigate at the same time and served in her in the Mediterranean until 17 December 1763 when he paid her off, the Seven Years' War having ended. Boaya stayed and employed until the American Revolutionary War began, when on 31 October 1776 he was given command of the ship of the line in which he served off the coast of Ireland. He left Bradford to recommission the ship of the line on 4 May 1778. On 9 June he sailed her to North America before travelling to the West Indies on 13 December as part of the fleet of Vice Admiral John Byron. As part of the fleet Boaya fought at the Battle of Grenada on 6 July 1779. Having afterwards joined the fleet of Admiral Sir George Rodney in Albion, Boaya fought in a number of actions against the French Admiral de Gitchen. The first of these was the Battle of Martinique on 17 April 1780 where Rodney attempted to concentrate multiple ships against each French vessel. Boaya understood this order but it was confused by many others and he was ordered away from attacking in the correct way by Rear Admiral High Parker. The battle ended indecisively. On 15 May, the two fleets collided again after a fluke change and a wind allowed the French to cross the tea in front of the British. Albion and Boaya were sailing at the front of the British column and received the concentrated fire of 15 French ships as they sailed towards them, eventually turning to run parallel on the French line with the rest of the fleet's vanguard. Boaya took part in a similar action again on 19 May, where the two fleets played a game of cat and mouse in an attempt to gain a strong tactical advantage. Boaya left the West Indies and returned to England on 24 December 1781, staying unemployed until 20 March 1783 when he was given command of the ship of the line in the Medway. Here the vessel served as a guard ship, with Boaya being made a commodore for the purpose. Boaya left her sister Bull and reverted to his rank as a post-captain on 22 June 1785, going on half pay. His next command came on 3 October 1787 when he recommissioned the ship of the line, but this commission was cut short and he paid her off on 7 December. Boaya was appointed a Colonel of Marines, an honorary position for post-captains, on 24 September 1787 and received his next command, the brand new ship of the line, at the beginning of the Spanish armament on 18 August 1790. The crisis having abated, Boaya left Boyne on 10 January 1791. She was his last command as a post-captain. Flag rank. Boaya was promoted to Rear Admiral on 1 February 1793. He was sent to join the Channel Fleet under the now Admiral Howe, raising his flag in the ship of the line with Captain Cuthbert Collingwood as his flag captain on 10 March. 
He transferred with Collingwood to the ship of the line when Prince was paid off in December 1793, staying in the Channel. On 1 June 1794, the fleet fought the Battle of the Glorious 1st of June, with Boer being heavily engaged with the enemy from 29 May. Boer commanded the 1st Division of the centre of the fleet during the battle, having under his command Buffler and the ships of the Lion and HMS Gibraltar. At around 10 a.m. on 1 June itself, Boer had his leg shot off by enemy fire, being caught by his fly captain as he fell. He was carried down to the ship's surgeon where the leg was amputated. Collingwood took over in his stead for the remainder of the battle. Boer officially left Buffler in August. Boer was rewarded for his part in the victory, being made a baronet on 16 August and receiving a naval gold medal. Having lost his leg, for which he received a pension of £1,000 sterling a year, Boer was no longer able to actively serve in the Navy, but was promoted to Vice Admiral on 4 July of the same year and to Admiral on 14 February 1799. While already a baronet in his own right, Boer succeeded to the family baronetcy held by his brother William when the latter died in April. Having inherited Radley Hall from his uncle Sir James Stonehouse, 10th baronet in April 1792, Boer lived there until his death on 9 December 1800. He was buried at the local parish church on 16 December. Political career Boer became Member of Parliament for Queenborough in 1784. The Queenborough parliamentary seat was controlled by the Admiralty and he dedicated his political time to naval affairs while generally supporting William Pitt, the youngest faction. Boer made his maiden speech in Parliament on 18 June defending the state of the Navy and would go on to make nine other speeches, all related to the Navy. He also joined the Parliamentary Committee considering the defences of Portsmouth and Plymouth in 1785 and on 18 April of the year voted in favour of Pitt's parliamentary reform bill focused on rotten boroughs. He gave up his seat in 1790. Family Boy married Margaret Price died 1778, the widow of Sir Jacob Downing, 4th Baronet, on 11 November 1768. There were no children from the Union. Again while in between commands, Boy married Henrietta 1753-1845, the daughter of Admiral Sir Percy Brett, on 4 June 1782. Together, they had three sons and two daughters, Sir George Boe, 6th Baron at 6 March 1783, 1 July 1860, Lieutenant Colonel William Boe, 29 December 1784, a British Army officer who died seven in the West Indies, Henry Boe, 9 March 1786, Rector of St Michael and All Angels Church, Sunny Hill Henry Sawyer, married Charles Sawyer in 1812, Liza Boe, 1791, 1 November 1879, 